How can an EL opportunity help students to develop technical, vocational, or disciplinary knowledge as well as broad-based employability skills? Experiential learning opportunities can serve as a nexus point for drawing together what students are learning about their discipline or profession, along with broad-based employability skills. This combination meets the needs and interests of both students and employers, but some intentionality in the design of the experience is necessary to make this happen. Seeking alignment between program-specific learning outcomes and the soft skills or human skills that employers commonly value, and then engineering experiential learning opportunities that will allow students to learn about and reflect on the connections deliberately can be a productive approach for educators. A real challenge for the course was to try to see that there were ways that students were encouraged to connect the taught part of the course with the experiential learning that they were doing. Um, so for three hours a week, students were going out into the community and participating in some rich activity that um, would open their eyes to a new social reality or expose them to, to new people. And then in the classroom, they were taught concepts of civic engagement and community and participation, volunteering, and so on. Uh, so it was a challenge to think about how to integrate those two forms of learning, classroom learning and the experiential learning. This project spans six of our courses currently. Um, we are doing a phase one environmental site assessment as part of our contaminated sites project. We have done a PR project where we did a public open house to get public feedback on potential options for the project. We are doing an ecological restoration design for the project and we're doing the open houses now that the design selection has happened. So our intent is to be able to, to kind of walk this through everything from presentations to public outreach to technical sampling and analysis to a phase two environmental site assessment to a risk assessment to closure. And at the end, the students will not only have made a number of connections and many important partnerships around the region, they'll also have a portfolio of complete projects that they can take to an interview and say, here's, here's just a sample of what I can do for you. So both of our labs, like I say, we're really fortunate. We have two labs, a community, um, a retail pharmacy and a hospital side. So we've tried to structure them so that the student has the experience that they are actually in the real life setting. We have the drug cage, we have a, um, a narcotic vault, we have um, our compounding area, we have um, in the hospital side, we have a different drug cage that does hold um, oral liquids. We have a station where they have to prepackage oral liquids. We have a clean room that is set up exactly like a clean room um, would be in the hospital with the ante room where they have to do the sterile um, a septic hand wash and dressing, and then the actual room where we have the laminar flow hoods that the students use. So everything is very realistic, and we expect them to um, treat everything as if they are actually in the workplace, because our students do have to go um, two-month placement at the end of their two years, one month in a community pharmacy, one month in a hospital. So we're really proud that we send them out um, really well equipped because they've been working for months in the lifelike setting.